Welcome. So this is our um, third lecture on chapter 16. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, rotation about a fixed. So when we talk about rotation about a fixed axis, if you see this uh, nice paper mill, I think most of you have done that when you were a kid. Uh, I also made those. Um, so this uh, this paper mill is rotating if we assume um the it is it is rotating in this direction uh and um it, so it's it has a axis of rotation which is maybe here perpendicular to the surface um so this is an example of a rotation about a fixed axis um so let's see what's our learning objective for today is um, define angular motion um, also define angular position and angular displacement and again ang uh, define angular uh, velocity and acceleration so mostly we're going to um, cl clarify the understanding of angular uh, motion position displacement velocity and acceleration and then um, this is uh, would be our part a um, so uh, and then next next class we're going to um, derive a formula or the uh, we'll talk about the formula that we need to use for angular motion so um so when we talk about rotation we saw that in our previous lecture uh, for chapter 16 that if if something is rotating um for any object uh, if it's that is rotating if i have any object um and if that is rotating about an axis we call it a rotation and um, um, so um, so um, we we study or develop we need to develop the theory of angular motion because if there is um, a particle on the body here um, we here uh, which could be uh, in a plane circular plane on the so if I take a cross section if it's if you can assume that if it's a potato if you just cut the potato in half so this is the surface of the cut potato um, and we can assume the center of the body as our origin and then there could be any point uh, O, the origin is O, it could be any point uh, P here. So if so, the P, when the whole potato or the whole body is rotating along this uh, axis, uh, along this um, X, X prime axis, so if we want to study the motion of of this point p because it's moving in circular path we need to define this angular motion concept um so what's angular motion angular uh motion so um angular motion before we define um we have to understand that um a point itself cannot have um it doesn't have enough dimension to study angular motion so angular motion can only be happening of a line or a plane for example to study the angular motion of this point we need to have a line from center to point b and we can call it radius r so now the line r or op uh, this line can have an angular uh, motion. The point P itself cannot have angular motion. Um, so in this ex example, uh, there is an angular motion of a radial line uh, R, which is OP, uh, located on, on this surface. Um, so um, this is uh, called an angular motion. Um, so what is angular the next step is angular uh, position 
a n g u l a r so this is our routine um, we define angular position then we define velocity a displacement and acceleration so what is angular position um, the angular position of the line r so this line r the angular position of this line r is defined by um, angle theta so we have to measure theta from a fixed axis so the same way we had a xy plane we'll have um, another axis here um, and we, this is the origin so we can calculate the angle current angle position of the of the um, radius uh, uh, of the position r and if it's defined as theta so this theta would be angular position so the angular position is defined by theta uh, from a fixed reference point so which is this line fixed reference line the angle uh, of the r is theta so it's defined by theta um, so the next concept we need to uh, understand is um, angular uh, displacement so angular displacement so angular displacement uh, is the change in angular position which can be measured as a differential um, d theta so if if the current position is op r right if it is a new position here um and the change if we elaborate the change in this from this position from um this position here to this position is the um d theta right because it's theta so a small change is d theta so angular displacement is defined as d theta uh, we have to talk a little bit more about um, uh, of this uh, d theta, uh, which is angular displacement. Uh, so it's a it's a vector direction, and d theta has a direction perpendicular to the surface here. So let's move to a new page. Uh, so we had. The body and we had the surf um, surface where we were rotating and we had the um, rotation axis here right we had the point P um, R and then we had the axis where we measure the theta and new angle which is um, d theta right um, so this d theta uh, has a unit uh, which we defined it's angular displacement So this angular displacement has uh, measured in degrees or uh, in radians and the relationship um, we can define between them is as a one revolution if it has a one revolution so what is one revolution if this um, this uh, length o uh, p which is r make a total um, starting from here make a whole loop so starting from here it makes all makes a 360 degree rotation it's called one revolution so one revolution is equals to 360 degree which could be again written as um, twice pi uh, radian 
So this is the relationship. Um, so so the since the motion um, of of this body is about a fixed axis, which is could be this x x prime axis. The direction, the direction of d theta, is um, uh, is determined by the right hand rule. So that's why you see the man's hand here, right hand. So that if your finger, if you put your right hand, and if your finger denotes the rotation direction, in this case the same, the p is rotating in this direction, right? In in this direction, so your thumb will give you the direction of d theta um, so in this case the d theta uh, the direction will be uh, of d theta is upward um, and we can call it uh, as a positive so if we see the top view so if we look from top here right if so our top view could be the circle which is this circle and um, we have the point P from center which is R we had our origin we have our axis where we from where we measure our um, theta and we had our d theta small change d theta so uh, here we'll say um, the direction is counterclockwise, um, which can be defined as uh, this direction counterclockwise, and we can assume um, counterclockwise is positive. Uh, if you assume clockwise is positive, you can also do so. Um, yeah, so. Um, the direction is uh, for this case is is pointing upward, uh, and it uses uh, the right hand rule. So remember, right hand rule. Uh, <coughs> if your finger points towards the direction of the rotation, your thumb will tell which direction uh, is is the uh, direction of angular displacement d theta. Okay, so if if we're clear up to this point, let's move um, to talk about angular velocity. Angular velocity. Angular velocity is the time rate of change in the angular position. Um, is the angular velocity? So it is defined by. Um, Omega, so omega is the change in um, uh, angular position d theta with respect to time dt. So omega is d theta over dt. So the unit of this one would be the um, the d theta the unit of d theta, which is radian. Uh, yeah, radian over second. So radian per second. Um, so um, this is our angular velocity. Now let's talk about our um, angular, which is our last item for today. So angular acceleration. Um, so you know, if we have your Velocity, how to get acceleration? You take another second, uh, another derivative. So, angular acceleration is defined as um, alpha, which is the first derivative of angular velocity omega with respect to time, which also can be written as um, second derivative of theta with respect to time. The same. Um, so and also to remember the line of action that uh, of of alpha is the same as uh, omega. So if so, what what I'm saying is if you have the axis rotation, if your if your particle is rotating in this direction along your finger, uh, fingers, the thumb uh, tells you the direction of d theta. But the omega 
and alpha also rotates in the same direction as your um, rotation uh, as your uh, rotation direction of your particle so this would be you can just tag them alpha and omega so they follow the same direction of course um, so now we need to derive our uh, another important relationship which is uh, if we if we take this equation one and this equation um, this equation two so from this equation we can write dt equals to uh sorry here be dt we can write dt equals to what d theta over omega so we just take the omega on the other side and dt on the this side so this part and if we from here if we write again dt equals to d omega over alpha so we got two dt uh, expression from here if we combine replace dt with each other what happens d theta omega equals to it becomes d omega over alpha and which gives us an important relationship that we need which is alpha d theta equals to um, omega d omega this is an uh, important relationship that we have to use um, 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 uh, in our angular <coughs> uh, motion study remember this is the same uh, concept when we had in in chapter 12 we had v equals to ds over dt here we have d theta over dt in chapter 12 we have acceleration we had <coughs> acceleration equals to dv over dt now we have d omega over dt in in um chapter 12 we had um um a d s equals to v d v and we replace that equation over here with alpha d theta equals to omega d omega so these are the um, basic definition that we need to know before we start a ro uh, rotation studying rotation about fixed axis um so in in next part uh, of the rotation about fixed axis we're going to talk about the equation that we need to uh, apply but till then uh, thank you see you in second part of this lecture um thank you